Good afternoon, I'm Stephanie Brown. And I'm Scott Apple, and this is Wolfpack News for Friday, September 5th, 2014. Life Touch picture packages are in. If you purchased a package, please stop by the Dean's office today during your lunch time. Starting Monday, pictures will be distributed in the comments during lunch hours. Picture retakes are scheduled for Monday, September 29th in the PAC starting at 7 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. If you didn't have a chance to purchase a picture package during registration, you may do so on September 29th. Order forms are in the main office. Tutoring will be held regularly on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school from 2.35 to 3.35 in E131. It will also be held daily during all study hall periods. During the day, students must have a pass from a content area teacher. Tutors will be available for math, science, and English. Students who want to travel the world and experience the world should join our Oswego Travel Abroad group next summer. The group is planning a trip to Paris, France, and Spain. Parents and students should attend an informational meeting on Wednesday, September 10th at 7 p.m. in the community room if interested. See Mrs. Stanek with, in B261 with questions, 262. There will also be a trip to Costa Rica for nine days next June. On this trip, you'll be visiting a volcano, hot spring, beaches, and rainforest. Go kayaking and on a canopy tour. See Mrs. Canavino or Miss Rathbun with any questions. Lambs Among Wolves Bible Study will have its first meeting today from 2.30 to 3.30 in the LRC. Juniors and seniors who want to join Science National Honor His Society should stop in the science office E380 to pick up an application. Last year's members must fill out an application as well. See Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Carlton with questions. Spanish Club will meet Tuesday in room J113 to discuss future meetings and activities. Any questions, please see Mrs. Shavara. And now it's time for entertainment. Here's Alexa. The next anime club meeting will be today in E139. See Mr. Engelhart with any questions. Many students have overdue library books. If you turn in them today, all late fees will be waived. Those who do not return a book will also have their fine cut in half. Also, you will now need your ID card to print or check out materials from the LRC. That's the latest in entertainment news. Now back to the Anchor Desk. Eco Club is looking for new members to find ways to improve the environment. The first meeting is on Monday after school in room G238. See Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Kavana with any questions. Mandarin's Club's first meeting will be held on today will be held today after school in J103. The League of United States, the United Latin America Citizens meeting will be held on Wednesday after school in J107. If you have any questions, see Joe Sanchez or Daisy Okegra. German Club will meet next Tuesday from 2.40 to 3.45 in room J102. See Vra Hogg with any questions. Anyone interested in joining the National Art Honor Society should come to a meeting after school next Tuesday in room B270. See Mrs. O'Mara Croft, and she'll pass out all the information you need to join. This is open to any sophomores, juniors, and seniors who have taken or are taking an art class. Oswego East Student Services is proud to announce the 7th annual, annual College Fair on September 15th during the school day. All sophomores and seniors will attend. There will be 60 colleges and four branches of the military represented. All grade levels are invited to attend college visits for Ball State, Notre Dame, Iowa Wesleyan, Ferris State, Yale, U of I, Robert Morris, Marquette, Kent State, and Truman University. Visits begin next week. See Mrs. Web Weber in the College and Career Center to sign up. Sign up in student services for the National Hispanic College Fair, which will be held at Aurora East High School on Wednesday, October 1st from 9 to 10.20 a.m. Explore scholarship opportunities and visit with over 50 colleges and universities. French Club's first meeting is Tuesday from 2.30 to 3 in J104. They'll be discussing activities for the new school year, and now it's time for sports. Here's Angel. The freshman football team added to the wins last night by defeating Glenbard East in, the both, in both the A and B games. The A team won 12-0. The defense added a scope and score run by Fabian Lathiam and as he picked up a fumble and ran 50 plus yards. Justin calls out, connected with Trent Taylor later in the third quarter for the other score of the game. The B team won 20 to 12. Eli Bogdan and Matthew Salazar scored early and often in the victory. The defense also added a safety prior to halftime. Attention all athletes interested in boys bowling. There was a mandatory meeting at 235 and F233 on Monday. Please see Coach Ochoa for more information. 
After school strength and conditioning has been canceled for today. It will resume as regularly scheduled next week, running Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 2.40 to 4 p.m. Attention to all athletes interested in boys bowling. There is a mandatory meeting at, at, at 2.35 and at 2.33 on Monday, September 8th. Please see uh, Coach Ochoa for more information. There will be a meeting as well as an open gym for any girls interested in playing basketball on Tuesday at 2.45 in the K-Wing gym. Be ready to work out. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Stephanie Brown. And I'm Scott Apple. Join us again tomorrow on East Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great weekend.